And welcome back. Today we're going to go through everything that's changing in June. Whether you're in the Northern Hemisphere and it's just hit summer, or the Southern Hemisphere and you're in winter, this guide's got you covered for fish, bugs, shrubs, and seasonals to look out for this month. Timestamps are on the screen now, but a more detailed list of timestamps can also be found in the description below. It can double up as a list to copy over to your phone or somewhere to refer back to later if you need. Wedding season is going to last all of June. We're not 100% on the details yet, but we know that Cyrus and Reese are going to show up and there's going to be a challenge to create a magical background and or take a good photo with wedding themed rewards. I'm sure there'll be a million guides on this when it's out and I can't imagine it's going to be that complicated after Earth Day and May Day. In the Northern Hemisphere this month, we're up to a total of 55 fish available to catch, compared to just 44 last month. Over at the pond, we've got two new fish to catch. Between 9am to 4pm, a giant snakehead can be caught from a large shadow. Outside of these hours, 4pm to 9am, a giant shadow can catch you a gar. It can take a little while to find these two, but they're easier than some of the others. Moving to the main river, you'll find six new fish in June. All day, you can find the tilapia. Say no more, you will find one. Avoid medium-sized shadows completely after the tilapia. Nothing else that's new in June will be the same size. From 9am to 4pm, then again from 9pm to 4am, small shadows can now catch you a piranha. You might want to go for the nighttime slot, because the other four river fish we're looking out for are all going to spawn between that time too. Saddled birches come from the large shadows during the same 9pm to 4am window. But during 4pm to 9am, you can also catch the arowana from the same large shadow. Huge shadows can catch you the elusive dorado, while the largest possible fishing shadow size now holds the arapaima. That's all for new fish, but we also have two fish leaving this month, and both are in the river. This is the last chance for you to grab a cherry salmon and a char. If you haven't had a chance to catch them, they'll spawn in any section of river that is elevated at least one level above the ground, also during 4pm to 9am. This means that 7 out of the 8 fish we've listed so far are going to be available between the time of 9pm to 4am. And if you do it all at the river on higher ground, you stand to get the cherry salmon and char a lot easier. Finally, let's head over to the ocean. It's shark season. You'll also find a ribbon eel if you keep your eye out for that unique shadow, but that shouldn't take too long. The real excitement comes from our new finned friends. At all hours of the day, you can find a whale shark waiting for you in the ocean from a large finned shadow. Unfortunately, at all times of the day, you can also get the sucker fish, appearing like a shark with a slightly smaller shadow. All sharks are available between the hours of 4pm to 9am though, and we get three more varieties on offer, starting with the great white shark. The hammerhead shark makes a nice addition to the museum, and then the saw shark joins in right alongside him. I'm impressed the little rough boys can live alongside all these other fish, but more power to them. Fish are friends, not food. Even better this month, all of these sharks are available during the golden hours of 9pm to 4am. And we're all done for fish. Get your nets out, we're going bug hunting. Look. Frankly, your islands are thriving, well done you, we have 5 more bug species moving in at the start of June, bringing the total number up to 48. We have a new flappy boy hanging out on the island now, except these dudes are only available from sunset, coming out at 5pm, staying till 8am. Watch out for the other 3 butterflies who are leaving this month, the common yellow and peacock, who are all around during 4am to 7pm. Inside this window, during 8am to 5pm, also make sure you've caught a ladybug who will fly away after this month. Covering off all of the other three bugs leaving us after June, we have the very common violin beetle on tree stumps all day, then the two bugs that jump out of rocks. From 11pm through to 4pm, a pill bug will jump out of the rocks, then between 4pm and 11pm, you can catch the centipede. Make sure to swap up the times you farm your rocks if you haven't caught one of those yet. Nighttime's a little more alive this month. Mosquitoes are going to start buzzing around you from 5pm until 4am. Just stand still, they'll find you. June is the only month of the year you have the privilege of fireflies. You'll see them around lights between 7pm to 4am, just make sure to catch one before the month's up. From 5pm to 8am you can find a goliath beetle hanging out on palm trees. For most of that time, between 7pm to 8am, a rainbow stag can also appear on any tree. 
There's only one other new bug, this little green dude, the drone beetle, who will hang out on all trees, all day, very common. We're left with the golden hours for bug catching being between 7pm and 4am. You can catch all the bugs we're looking for this month, excluding the trio of butterflies and the ladybug. You also need to plan the rocks carefully if looking for pill bugs or centipedes, but everything else you want to be at night time. If you want to match it up with fish catching, the times line up perfectly for 9pm to 4am. It's a late night season this month. The only exception for new catches is the first one we mentioned, the giant snakehead which will need to be caught between 9am and 4pm, everything else you can get between 9pm and 4am. Now that your critopedia is a bit chunkier, let's look at what else is going on for summer. On the 1st of June, hydrangeas will begin to flower and stay until mid-July. If you plan on swapping your shrubs around, make sure you're planting hydrangea. I've used blue and purple a lot on my island, so we're entering a good tan. It's also summer now, meaning slingshotting presents down can nab you new items including the South Seas wall, water floor, underwater flooring, shell wand, underwater wall, and starry sand floor. While we can no longer get any young spring bamboo recipes. With that, it's time to head south of the equator. Honestly, my southern dudes, it's a bit of a sad time down here. This won't take long. The total number of fish has reduced by 5 to just 32. We've got 5 new fish though. Over at the Clifftop River, any river elevated at least one level above the ground, large shadows can get you a string fish between 4pm and 9am. All day at the river on any level, small shadows can also get you a pond smelt. Hopefully on the way to get a string fish, you'll find a pike, which can also be found from a large shadow. Down at the ocean, Look out for any tiny shadows. The only fish this can be is the sea butterfly, a nice and simple catch. Small shadows can now lead to a squid at any time of the day, while huge shadows have the potential to be an oar fish at any time of the day as well. Power through the sea bass, I believe in you. Your only time constrained fish in this whole list is 4pm to 9am for the string fish, while you can catch all the other fish at any time of day. We've lost 10 bugs this month, and with only 3 new arrivals, we're down to just 20 bugs total. Emperor butterflies are back at night, staying from 5pm to 8am. At all other hours of the day, from 8am to 5pm, Raja Brooks birdwing butterfly will occasionally find its way onto the island. The only other bug is a more fun one. Look out for when the ground is covered in snow and you get snowballs. Not only can you get the awesome ice furniture by making perfect snowboys, which I explained in the last video. But the snowballs will also have dung beetles rolling around them sometimes. A more amusing and fairly easy to catch to look out for at any time of the day. Shrubs aren't really changing this month down south. We've already had holly shrubs bloom around the island and they're going to stay that way until next month. With snow on its way, shrubs will eventually lose their bloom completely for a month or two and aren't worth focusing on too much. Finally, all your autumn recipes are no longer available. But this means you have winter recipes falling from the sky. This is all summarized in my other video, but in short, you want to knock down as many balloons as possible and get a good collection of snowboys going for the other DIYs. Obviously this month, I think we're all praying for the release of gyroids, maybe some other cool updates. I know we've had a lot of rumored updates like about the museum and another nook's cranny, but I'm sure you've all heard the rumors as well, and we don't know anything locked in yet. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more Animal Crossing content, please press subscribe. Catch it.